Hi, everyone, and welcome to Cole in the Community. I am so excited today that we have a really great person here in our Houston community, Miss Callie Luck. She comes to us from UHCL, and she's just a handful of great resources. We are so excited to share just her knowledge, her passion, and everything it is that she's doing um, with us in the community. So thank you for joining us today. Of course, thanks for having me. So um, do you want to go ahead and kind of introduce yourself and what it is that you do and the kind of why you do it? Sure. Um, so I am a program manager at the University of Houston Clear Lake within the Center for Autism and Developmental Disabilities um, for just one of our many ABA clinics at that center. And I have the privilege of supervising graduate students who are in the master's behavior analysis program at the university. And I get to work with them every day and get to train them on how to become better behavior analysts. That is super awesome. And we know some of those behavior analysts because we have some of them here at Cole. So we're very blessed that they have the training and you can always tell the difference when they come from UHCL for sure. So. Um, the programs that y'all offer are amazing. Um, so what is the mission that y'all have with UHCL and ABA? Like kind of what's y'all's um, scope on that? Yeah, so we have a mission that is threefold. Um, we strive to support research on autism and developmental disabilities to train current and future professionals and to provide services to children, teens, and adults, as well as their families through our partnerships with the community. Awesome, that's very good. And I know that we're a great partnership and we're a practicum site for you guys. So we love having that relationship with y'all. Um, what is it that, what, what offers and programs that you guys have for providers in our community? Um, so within our partnerships, we are, um, allowed to give them graduate students who can work at their sites. Um, so we partner with the Clear Creek ISD as well as Pasadena ISD and we have graduate students who are working in those districts and they're providing services to their students as well as training to the staff and teachers. Um, and we also work to collaborate on research with a lot of our partnerships as well so that we can meet that first mission of supporting research and helping expand the field of behavior analysis. That's very much needed. Um, we are continuously growing in the right direction and I love it. Um, Definitely. For families, what programs do you offer for families in the Houston community? Yeah, so we have clinics that provide ABA therapy, as I stated earlier. And within each of our clinics, uh, we ensure that we provide a lot of caregiver training if their child is receiving services within our clinics. Uh, we also provide a monthly speaker series, which is available to caregivers as well as providers and any other professional in the community that could benefit from the topic. The speaker series presentations are free of charge and they're provided by third year graduate students in the master's program. Super awesome. And then for of course your patients, what does patient care look like for y'all and what does treatment look like for y'all at UHCL? Yeah, we, we strive to provide the highest quality of ABA services that we can. And within our clinic or within our center, we have four main clinics that provide ABA therapy. Uh, the first is ABBA Skip. It's a focused intervention program. So we select two to three goals based on the client's current skill level, as well as the caregiver's preference. And we continue to work on those goals for about 180 hours of services within a year. Um, and those clients can come back to our clinic up to four times. And that clinic does have our, our longest wait list. Um, as many caregivers probably find as they're searching for services for their child, that there are a lot of wait lists. So that clinic does have about a two year wait list right now. Um, we are currently providing services within that clinic free of charge. Um, and that's just because of grants and funding sources that we are very lucky to have. And in the future, we that might change to potentially a sliding fee scale based on family size and income. Uh, but for the moment, they're completely free of charge to our families. Very nice. 
another clinic that provides services is our verbal behavior clinic. They are a clinic that focuses on increasing communication and social skills. And they are a private pay clinic. So the services are about $50 per hour. However, that fee can be reduced based on family size and income. The really nice thing about that, that clinic is that there are no age restrictions. There's no diagnosis restrictions. It's for individuals that can benefit from those services. So if they can improve upon their communication or need some help with social skills, uh, that would be a great fit for them. And that clinic has about a wait of six months to a year. Oh, wow. That's good. Our next clinic, go ahead. Oh no, I was saying that's excellent. That, these are such great programs to hear about. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> our next clinic is our Severe Behavior Disorders Research Clinic and they focus on the treatment of problem behavior. And that clinic is, they also have a scholarship program, but they are also private pay. Um, so the services are $50 per hour. That fee can be reduced based on family size and income. And they also see clients for um, once per week for about two hour sessions. And they are, they have a wait list of about six months to a year as well. Okay. And I've heard um, you guys have a huge age range that you offer with your ABA programs. Can you talk a little bit on that too? Yeah. In our severe behavior clinic, there is no age restriction on that clinic either. Um, so if there is a behavior that's getting in the way of social interaction or maybe learning new skills, holding down a job, um, that would be a great fit for any individual of any age. Cool. Very nice. And how would a family get started and find out about these programs? What does that process look like? Uh, so they can contact the Autism Center. Uh, the phone number that's provided on the website, they'll get me directly. And that phone number is 281-283-3452. Or they can email the Autism Center at autismcenter at uhcl.edu. Very nice. Did y'all hear that? You have her phone number. So <laughs> that's so nice. And with parents always kind of reaching out and knowing that there's sometimes those wait lists, what are some good, like great online or free programs that families can look into that you like to recommend out? I'm glad you asked mm -hmm. uh, because we have one more clinic that provides ABA therapy that is completely free of charge. And it's a really brief program. It's just 12 weeks. Um, but because it's so brief, it allows clients to come in and receive services quickly. Um, so our, that wait list for that program is about one to three months and it's free of charge. And it, what's great about it is it's all caregiver training focused. And so we're giving the caregivers the tools that they need to help them teach their child a new skill or help work on decreasing that problem behavior. And it's a really great program that is available for those families that are just getting hit with all these wait lists and everywhere they turn, they're hearing that there's another wait list. And so this is a good resource to get a little bit of knowledge and understanding and the skills that they need to work on some of those skills with their child until they're off that wait list and able to receive some services, some more services. Um, and that's the Connecting the Dots program. I really like that. There's a lot of providers that talk about that program. And so what a great first step for families to look into. Kelly, I thank you so much for spending your time with us here today and going over all these fabulous programs. And we'll make sure to connect all the links and resources that you provided with us. And um, definitely hope that you continue to grow and your mission is beautiful. So thank you for what you do in our community. Of course, we are happy and here to help. Thank you. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.